Hello and welcome everyone in another episode of playing the Slore Minister. Today we have a different video. It's for the Slormite Chronicles number eight, the new Slorm Reapers, as you can see here. Uh, sorry about not updating for the last week. I was rather busy with some work stuff and interviews and whatnot. So I was rather busy and I'm still am, but I will try to upload and do stuff. Of course I played in between, but I didn't want to upload like a boring video of me grinding uh, like the expeditions, so yeah, sorry about that. So let's hop straight into it. So we got a new thing which says about the Slowmark Chronicles and it's about the new update. They are saying that the current update seems stable for the prison update and now they are slowly like starting to talk what will be coming. As you can see the next update will be the Mage Academy update. It's not about the character but it's a zone. Uh, so it's not about the character update. So just to distinguish what's gonna happen here. Uh, and then this whole patch it might be like taking a long time when it develops and after that a long time until it gets stable and bug fixes and such. So instead they are splitting this big update into three smaller ones. And they're talking about like short term roadmap for this patch kinda. It's not fixed, it can change over time for sure depending on the uh, development progress and such but the first part is you know everyone i guess the biggest hype would be about the 20 new swarm rapers because that gives you a lot of like replayability and new builds new like building things together and matching things up so that's really cool then we have materials tab which we will talk later on down below then we get like the uh, new enemies and then of course the expeditions will get also the mage academy layout then the next part will be about act 3 which we currently finished act 2 so it will be the mage academy act 3 uh, the new level cap it will be from 50 to 60 we will get another tier of ancestor legacy which is very nice that means new boss and new stone and then they're talking about rework for Act 1, which is interesting, but okay. And then we have a new Cataclysm ex Exaltation. That's really good because it alters the gameplay a lot. So I'm not gonna talk about the uh, this, you can read it here, or I will put the link in the description down below so you can read it by yourself. But yeah, they'll be reworking kind of some things in Act 1. So it's nice to see that they are touching that uh, sort of content as well. And then for the third part, as you can see, the new in-game content. And it was previously called Trials of Grit in the roadmap, but inside they call it the Great Forge. So I don't know how that will be like changed, but it's going to be related to the Reapers. And it will introduce a variety of them. So, so my idea is maybe there will be some small things that could happen to the reapers i don't know like corruption or something but they are not gonna talk about first part and everything so the next probably this swarmer chronicles is the last one this year and the next one they are saying should be around january so after the christmas of course they will have also the break probably and such so yeah here we have the Slorm Reapers. So yeah, before like there is like together 120 uh, weapons per class, and of course they are the same on each class, but they are just different type. But yeah, and currently we have I believe 20 of them available. So when we get another 20. That will be pretty interesting. It will be a lot of variety, new skills, new things. So that's a big highlight of the patch. And they're gonna dip more into like uh, the visuals and the effects and the stats and what they do. And here we have like three examples. 
The first one, Fate Crusher, Reaper of the Seven, is the new concept that takes advantage of all Reaper bonuses available on your equipment. So it will be with your equipment depending on how you go. So that could be interesting. And Reaper bonuses also directly affect the effects of the Swarm Reaper. So it will be about your gear kind of weapon. That sounds interesting. Then we have Reaper of Retaliating Foresight. It was built on the idea of removing the passive defense behavior of retaliation can be huh? behavior of the retaliation and be active with it so retaliation kind of weapon i don't know passive armor evasion something maybe and then reaper of inner strength uh simple yet quite fun reaper it will be hopefully enable inner fire builds Ooh, that's a interesting thing i was trying to play my knight and make a build there with the inner fire but it was lacking lacking so maybe with the new new weapons yeah that, that could be pretty fun and then we have free, uh, something here more and uh sovereign reaper of great necromancy is on our way to introduce our the so uh, some sort of summoning skills to the game while people wait for possible official Necromancer class. Ooh, highlight Necromancer class. When? <laughs> so yeah, maybe later down the line we'll have Necromancer type. That could be cool. And then the new ways to unlock Swarm Reapers. Currently, as you know, you need to uh, close the breaches and then you have chance to get the uh, the Reapers, the weapons, right? I don't know what are the chances, but it can take some time to unlock if you are like looking for a specific one. So yeah, and if they will put more, it will take longer time, of course. So let's see. Uh, they are trying to diversify the, how to get the reapers. Currently, one slum reaper that can be found through loot. Huh? One slum reaper. Oh, this one can be fine. Cannot be found through the loot. And really like the idea and would be like to push it into direction. Huh? There is only one so that can be found through loot. Oh, so maybe they will drop like from the monsters and such. With this update, three of uh out of the 20 ripples will be unlocked by other ways than loot. So since they mentioned up here that there will be a forge endgame content and it will be related to reapers, I imagine like three of those reapers would be there and elder staff temple it will oh you can buy it from olorin at an outer just yet reasonable pure slum price okay so get ready for your pure slum boys but here it it's as you can see you can read it uh, later but it scales of the pure slum and elder slum and such so it's pretty cool and then we have of course the primordial versions of the reapers and there is an issue that they are talking about. And let's see here. Uh, we have yet to come up with a solution, but we have the current amount of farm required to unlock one or even multiple is a problem. Plus the fact that you have to grind it back up to the decent level, you have unlocked it. Nothing is set installed, but we have various ideas and we'll hopefully be able to implement a solution for this update. So probably they make it a little bit easier. The only like kind of like easy and lazy solution would be decrease the amount of kills that you need right because now you need like i don't know forty two thousand kills to unlock the primary version and then you of course starting from level one and you need to level it up and such so it will it will be interesting to see what they will find out what will be a good idea like how to get the uh primary versions easier then, of course, we have the Mage Academy. Here are some screenshots, what it looks like. I think it looks amazing and very light because currently the two uh, tiles with the prison and the graveyard, they are kind of darkish and green. So this will be a really nice change of pace. Uh, of course, we don't. the layout doesn't look good for AoE because of the walls and such, but... I think it will be good. It will be definitely fun and change in the variety. And for the last thing, the materials tab in the inventory. So whenever you need some stuff and like you need to always go to the guy and craft it and you need to 
most of the time have it stored in your stash probably because it takes a lot of space and here they are saying how you can have it together there will be probably infinite stacking which is really nice because the max cap is nine like 100k basically so yeah this this is really cool and it really reminds me if you know a uh, game the part of exile they have similar thing like this it, it it even looks similar for the currency but this will be for the uh, for the fragments and such so yeah this is really nice i really like this idea i'm really hyped so this one and this, the staffs or not the staffs but weapons because i play mage uh, for weapons, yeah, that will be definitely big hype later on. So we will need to wait until the next talk when they give it to us probably in January. So if you want to read it uh, careful, like slowly, uh, I will put the link in the description for this patch, basically, like the talk. And yeah, that's it for today episode. Uh, afterwards, I will do another video but i think it will be about uh crafting or recrafting the build that we are currently building on our mage and because i was farming a little bit i got some money some stuff and blah blah like resources basically and then i want to farm some pure slurm to upgrade also the ultimatums and such so it will be probably like a crafting video maybe it will be kind of long i will see so yeah that's it for today episode thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one